Suntory Magnum Draw. Suntory Magnum Dry is imported by Wow Brands, which is uh, Woolworths. Uh, it comes in this 500ml can, silver, obviously trying to copy Asahi to a certain extent. Uh, yeah, it's 5%. Now, this beer is brewed for uh, Suntory Liquor Limited, Tokyo, Japan. It was actually brewed in Shanghai, China. Now, a fellow beer reviewer, G. Haller, reviewed this a couple weeks ago, and I've been waiting for this to arrive at my damn Murphy's, and uh, so I grabbed a four-pack. Had one yesterday, but I'm going to reserve my comment for this review. So let's crack her open. Okay, yeah, a bit of a crack there. Not, it's no Tui's new or Forex bit of crap. Pour it in the midi glass. Okay, interesting fact about this beer. Now, I believe to beat some, uh, there's a tax in Japan, and to beat it, the lower the malt level or some rubbish, uh, I read somewhere that Magnum Dry is only 25% malt. It's a bit like eating orange juice and it only being 5% orange juice. Um, so, that's, you know, it's a, it's a typically adjunct lager. I don't know if they use rice or they use corn sugar for this, um, but we're going to find out, surely have a better idea. Uh, stacks of carbonation there, it's sticking to this glass um, quite easily. Now, you got uh, just under two finger of white soapy head. It's white, um, it's pretty much a Budweiser colour to the beer, maybe even lighter. Like, if you look at it, it looks, yeah, it's not very, um, very pale. Very par. It's like the Albino of beers. But anyway, uh, the smell. Yeah, I honestly, wet cardboard coming straight through. It's adjunct forward. No hop. I'm not picking up any hop. Just a, yeah, an adjunct lager from uh, China. So anyway, uh, that head's starting to go down. Let's just top that up a little bit. Anyway, cheers. The maltiness of this beer, in my own opinion, is very watered down. It's beer soda water, that's the way I like to put it. The bitterness isn't there. The dryness is there due to them using, like I said, 25% uh, malt. The rest would be adjuncts uh, being put into this beer. And when you put a lot of adjuncts into a beer, it dries it up. It becomes dry. It's got a watery body to it. Tastes watery. Does dry. Flavour-wise, it's so bland. It's so bland. And I'm going to tell you this. They're aiming these companies, aiming to import or uh, we'll sell 100,000 cases in Australia over this season, then up it to 300,000 in the coming years. Well, I've got a little tip to you, ladies, to the, uh, to the importers out there who want to flog this beer, like Dan Murphy's. Uh, it ain't Asahi, it ain't Sapporo, and it ain't Kieran. This is, how would I put it? How would I put it? What kind of beer is terrible and sold in Australia? Oh yeah, cold and cold. Hey, yeah, there's a beer for you. Have you ever seen it? Cold and cold, 4%. Absolute poison. Uh, smells rubbish, tastes rubbish. And this beer's not far from it. Yeah, sure, you can drink it. It's drinkable. You can drink water too. Doesn't mean you have to enjoy it. But uh, I've had, oh, that's my fourth beer of the day. 
um, being out bowling. This is, I've only been bowling and still not tasting good. So normally you go bowling and stuff, yeah, real got real first coming on, but uh, still not tasting good. It's just so bloody plain. And when it warms up, don't let it warm up, because I had a can yesterday, and once it warmed up, it got nasty. It's just beer, soda, water. A poor beer chucked adjunct forward beer. If you like your adjunct beers, you pour adjunct beers. Like people bag two his new Forex bitter. Uh, try this. Try this. It's super bland. Anyway, round up. Uh, Magnum Dry. Jeez, uh, I hope they, there's so many beers in the world, lagers, that deserve to be imported into Australia. This isn't one of them. This is rubbish. Why don't they start importing uh, Asahi uh, Super Dry in cans, firewood cans? Oh, they go off. But this is getting a D minus. I haven't scored that low for a while. Um, yeah, not very happy with it. Right, I'm drinking. So, till next time, take care, and I'll see you all later.